up with five questions with Wiggy. There might be six or seven here by the end of the day, but this is how we wrap it up every single time. If you want to ask Wiggy anything, he's got an opinion on everything. Most of them are wrong. You can, again, get the fan line in the upper right-hand corner, ask him whatever you want. Uh, Marcus Smart, reportedly today, is close to signing with the Celtics. So, Wiggy, for four years, between 46 and $50 million. How do you feel about that if you're the Celtics or you're a Celtics fan? Uh, four years, I'll take about 40 million is about as high as I'll go with him. I, I don't, I think he, people have overrated him as a player. I mean, I think, yeah, he's a great defender, but he only plays on one end of the court. He gives you energy, that kind of thing. But you can find a guy that can maybe do that, might not do as well, but I'm not paying this guy 12, 13, 14 million dollars a year to go out there and score two points. Nah, not doing it. He got to get buckets. Okay, he doesn't like the deal. Second question, Kawhi Leonard to the Raptors for DeMar DeRozan and a, a package, but the, the chief, uh, the, you know, the key ingredients are DeMar DeRozan and a protected first round pick. I think it's like top 20 protected or something like that. Should the Celtics have done more to get Kawhi Leonard? What would have been your offer? I mean, it doesn't feel like that's that hard to beat. Yeah, I would have I would offered up Jalen Brown and some draft picks. I mean, I think when you're looking at Kawhi Leonard, I would have definitely – I like Jalen Brown as a player, but when to me, if you can add a, bring a guy like Kawhi in, he plays alongside Kyrie and Gordon Hayward, they're able to, to, to kind of, you know, by the end of the year, get him to buy in. He gets to the NBA Finals and says, you know what, I like playing in Boston. Now I want to re-sign here. To me, that would have been your potential big three, would have been Kawhi Leonard, Kyrie or Irvin, Gordon Hayward, Jason Tatum. I like that. So if I'm Danny, I would have did more. I, I I don't I didn't buy that whole thing where no starter was um all the starters were off limits. Jalen Brown, I would have offered him up for Kawhi Leonard all day long. Question three, fill in the blank. The Red Sox season is a failure if they don't win the World Series. Really? Getting yep. to the World Series, the season's a failure. I get into the World Series, I would say, at least getting there. Okay, so we brought you down. Immediately. Yeah, you brought me down a little bit. I mean, getting to the World Series, but just making the postseason, no. That's a failure. Um, if, they get to, if they get to the ALCS, to me, I think that's still a failure. They have to get to the World Series because I think they're the best, the best team in baseball. So get to the World Series. If you don't win it, all right, I can, I can live with it, but at least get there. Okay, a couple of questions from the app, from the FanCred app. Ryan asks, what position are the Patriots the weakest at? Right now, for me, it's pass rushing. I want to sue. I want it. Can you look at the Patriots? Where have they struggled for? It seems like forever since you and I have been talking Patriots, it's always been they have no pass rush. And I want to know who are going to be those guys that are going to step up, whether they're outside linebackers, whether the defensive ends, guys that are consistently going to be pass rushers and get after the quarterback. Okay, question five. I told you we more more than five today. Another one from the app. Ben says, uh, Wiggy, thoughts on Shaquan, Shaquan Barkley? Did I pronounce that right? The, the running back there drafted two overall. Thoughts on Shaquan Barkley's thighs? Where are they on the chocolate and thick scale? Is, <laughs> you talk, have, you talk have, chocolate and thick with men like you do with women? No, or is, no, I don't. I don't, not at all. But they, he's got some quads on him. Now, I tell you, he got some tree trunks on his legs. That boy got some quadzillas. So you do like them when it comes to your women, chocolate and thick, correct? That is right. My chocolate thick, she's back there right uh, laying down. She don't want to get on camera. That's fine. So she's number one on your list. Who's number two on the chocolate and thick list worldwide? You know, who's like a good, you know, no, good no. movie star? Rat, who, 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 give, give us an example of chocolate and thick other than your lovely. Who's chocolate and thick other than worldwide, globally? So now? Yeah. yeah, you like Sanaa Latham. I like Sanaa Latham. It's just that her thumbs, they, they, her thumbs skeeve me out. She got toe thumbs. But she's got a nice. Okay, so I, I never heard of that person. She, she, oh, God. She, she, she's chocolate and thick, but she's got weird thumbs? She's got weird, like, the toe thumbs. How do you like her? That? She, are her thumbs featured prominently in, in her work? Well, if you see her in movies, you know. Okay. Nicki Minaj, there you go. Okay. That's, she's a little. All right. She's a little, she's a little extra thick, but, you know. That's chocolate and thick. Fine. That's Fair somebody enough. that you know. <laughs> I'm trying to come up with the most mainstream person that you would know. Yeah, you know, you know me, Wiggy. Uh, uh, we like them vanilla and thin. Real quick, I do like them vanilla and thin. I do. Uh, or, or chocolate and thin. I I, I just like them thin. I, I don't I don't care the flavor. <laughs> I I just need them fit. Uh, Andrew, like that. fan line. Andrew is in Connecticut. He's going to ask you one. Andrew, uh, again, ask Wiggy. Anything, as you can tell, he's got an opinion on anything. As soon as he pops up, he'll ask the question. Then we got the word on the street, and we're out.
No doubt. You got to get going. Andrew, go ahead. What's going on, guys? Well, uh, Felger, great questions as always, but I can take it from here. I uh, just wanted to ask the, the question that everyone wants to know uh, for you, Wiggy, and that is, as a Bruins fan, I want to test your loyalty. So let's see if P.K. Subban, uh, let's see, Donald Brashear, Dustin Bufflin, Seth Jones, I, Kyle Ocpaso, and Ryan Reeves all go to the Canadians tomorrow. Mm. Yes. Are you switching allegiances? I, I just want to know. What no, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still rooting for the Bruins, but I will still support them as players. Which, hey, listen, the Bruins missed out. <clears throat> they missed out on Tavares. I still say make a play for Wayne Simmons. <laughs> what do all those players have in common, folks? They're great right. hockey players. That's it. They're just great hockey players. Well, uh, Wiggy text page of the week. It's the word on the street. He writes me a text page as he would write one of his uh, friends, and I try and decipher because, as maybe you can tell. I have a little bit of a different vernacular. Uh, Wiggy writes this a week. Yo, if you hit, I'm sorry, if hit you wit, W-I-T, dat, if hit you wit, dat, hashtag in my feelings, you're going to be about that life. Question mark, question mark, question mark. And I'm, so, I'm so, so it's my job to translate. I have no idea what that means. All right. So, so I'm going to help you out on this one. So this has been this thing that Drake's been going around. It's called the In My Feelings Challenge. And I said, Felger, if you about that life, um, I'm going to hit you with it and see if you're going to do it. Do you know the In My Feelings Challenge? I don't. It's a little dance that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this for you. And you're supposed to, And we're supposed to do it. Yes, so go ahead and do it. No gotta... fucking way. No Come shot. On. No shot. No one's got my shirt off. I ain't freaking doing that stuff. I mean. You're not going to try it? If I take a look, maybe next week, but I ain't going to do that. Let me see you do it. Come on, Wiggy. This is your. <laughs> on that note, we're out. We'll see everybody next week for Jabroni Talk. Bye. <laughs>